Chuck, good to have you back. I haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> Chuck lately, you know, I've got another friend back here, American somebody, that, you know, take me in all in six minutes. It's yeah. always about to be taken. You kind of want to be not splice it. <laughs> so your, your message is all there. Chuck's been real creative on splicing. Okay, go ahead, Chuck. Uh, yeah, I just want to know, um, uh, point blank, um, are you going to uh, vote against or are you going to vote for uh, the Export-Import Bank, uh, which is a, a drag on North Carolina's economy? Most of the uh, favors that, you know, benefits of that go to a state like Washington, halfway across our country. Are you willing to, uh, I, th I think that it's run its course it needs to go away and i uh, hope that you would vote uh to get rid of the export and for bank thank you for your question on export and import banks now, this is a, an enormous obligation and exposure liability for you the taxpayer and uh we underwrite this federal government there are a handful a handful of major companies that benefit from it it's, it was intended initially to support small business it really does Great measure to do that, but 90, 95% of these uh, government-backed loans uh, support major uh, international corp corporations. So I have reservations about it. Don't know if the bill is going to come up, and I don't know in what way it would come up. But uh, I do believe uh, that it may not come up. It may just work its way out. So uh, I, I have serious concerns. About that. Um, just to just to follow up on that. Um, just to follow up on that, the um, John Boehner, I think, today announced that they're going to do a brief extension. Uh, so I don't, I don't know, maybe it'll get us past the, uh, the uh, elections in November. But um, would you vote against that extension and just let it run its course, let it I go think away? The, the objective is to wind down export import. And, you know, when you, there's the right way to pull the plug on something. So that you don't overly hinder the business so they can find, have time to find new capital. You know, the, the, the free markets work out there. The, when, you, we can, when you're driving away the, the, the credit markets, the financial markets, when the government comes in and subsidizes, well, the, the, the financial markets can't compete with that. So I think the prudent thing to do is what we've done in the Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. And frankly, got the endorsement of the uh, Wall Street Journal and the Washington Post to wind them down. The American taxpayers were on the hook. Uh, at one time, we had $185 billion of losses that they, they had to recover. But we don't, you shouldn't be into that type of exposure. So we need to wind those things down and take the taxpayer off the hook. 